welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So I did go ahead and make a little base off screen only because it took forever to get all the resources because I forgot, totally forgotten where you find everything on this particular part of the planet. So whoops. But anyways, here is our little base, aka our room. <laughs> so it's literally a multi-purpose room with a few bits and pieces. So I did manage to get a battery charger in here which has been super helpful as I've been extremely low on batteries. And we also placed in all of the cool posters and bits and pieces that I did manage to find in the previous part. And if you haven't checked that out, go watch it because not only did we find dry land, but we made a lot of progress. So we got a couple of planters. And we got this massive tree thing in the front of my poster. So whoops, I didn't realise you were going to be that tall, but we could always move it. So we've got all of our adorable posters up and everything. Our decorations on our desk. I decided to use this bed, which I thought was really nice. So yeah, we have our coffee maker and we actually have our flask of coffee in here which is going to help warm us up. So that is really helpful. It provides 50 plus body heat. So that would be super useful. We have a fridge guys, which we can place things into. I'm not really sure what was in there. Apparently that does. I think anything food or drink related can go in here to keep it like fresh for longer. So that's cool. Aquarium. Bit of glitchiness for there, there for some reason. Aquarium with a couple of fishies in. Our cool cube box, which has really cool music. Turn it up a sec so you guys can listen. It's really good. So yeah, here is our uh, little base. Nothing too fancy, guys. So it'll do the job. It's what we need for now. We've got food in there. Eventually, hopefully, we can get like a water filtration machine. But we'll see. Hopefully that'll be a possibility. But we can always get fluid from the coffee, so that's helpful. I may actually create another thermos for that. But this is really awesome. I'm so glad we managed to get this. But we're just going to kind of pop that down like that. There we go. Have that on in the background. That's nice, actually. I like that. So yeah, this is our little base. Like I said, it's not too fancy. And I hope you guys do like it. But anyway... Oh, that reminds me why we were gone, we did get a couple of messages that I need to play, but today we will be heading over to these particular places. So, the pilot and arsenal position and the ancient artifact, artifact, architectural artifact times three. And we have a couple of voice logs. So, let me see. So, from here... So I think that is actually um, a quote that uh, Jack Septica used to use uh, when he was playing Subnautica, the original version, and they put it into the games. But I, that actually came up when I first made coffee, which I thought was funny. And then we have the jukebox. So I thought that was pretty cool. And we have this from Alan. So yeah, guys, you guys all caught up. So, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to give. Oh, that was it. It's those things. So that's it. You can eat these and they give you food and water. That's why I built, uh, made this thing. I knew that. <laughs> so we'll be sure to get some more stuff on the go. I think I'm okay. Should I drink my coffee? Mmm. Ooh, yum. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, locate my coffee maker, pop my thermostat back over here. I'm so glad they... Ooh, not the fridge. Pop my coffee thermostat over there so we can come back for that. Yum, yum. Um, what else did I want to do here? Grab fully charged battery and stick that uh, probably into the repair tool. 
There we go. At least now we can recharge our batteries, which is going to be super a duper handy for us. So the flashlight, I'm not really bothered. We probably won't use it to be honest. As soon as we get the sneak light, the flashlight pretty much comes obsolete unless you're in like a small tight space or something. Love the bed. But anyway, I hope you guys like our little tiny mini base. We're going to go out now. We're going to head to these next signals. We'll probably farm resources on the way back and forth. And then eventually I do want to make um, a sea truck. I think that'd be a good idea. So let me see here. Where are my things? So this is the position thing. We don't really want to go there. We're going to head over to this one. Hope that it's not too deep. We're going to avoid the sea monkey so he doesn't nick my stuff. Okay, here we go. We're going to get there. We're actually going to grab a couple of bladder fish. Because I could do with some... Oops, I swam past you like a fool. I could definitely do with some water. Where did he go? He's hiding from me. Clever bladder fish is hiding. So, we'll grab you. There we go. At least I know I've got one on me. So, we'll grab a couple of bladder fish. You were like spinning out of control then. <laughs> So that'd be handy for us. And we have this little architectural base thing that we need to get to. So we're going to get some resources while we're out. Because we need to create a sea moth. And we're going to need a lot of stuff in order to do it. So this is literally all I did in the previous episode. Was farm a load of different resources. And go back and forth like a yo-yo. Trying to collect all the different stuff I needed to create those few things in the base. But... I guess it's okay. What we're actually going to do is fill up on these um, uh, seed things. And we're going to grab a bunch of them and just eat those. Because they basically give you water and food. There we go. Now we're feeling a lot better. So we have to try and get to this. We will grab these. I'm not sure how we're going to get to this thing. Because it seems that it's like in a certain area. So we can give it a go. Have I been here? I have no clue if I've been you guys. I guess we'll find out. Hello? Have I been to you before? Yes, I have. So it gets so confusing. It gets super hard to tell where you've been in the game, where you haven't been in the game. How do I get to this thing? Like, seriously, how do I even get to that thing? I have no clue. Hmm. And. Oh, that's something I didn't do was actually upgrade my oxygen tank because I couldn't find how you did it without having, um, what's the word I'm searching for? Like an upgrade and station type of thing. I don't know how you get this thing, guys. Um, I really don't understand how you get to where you're supposed to be for that. Mm, there must be like an opening, like a cave entrance or something. Because that's that, so we need to like get down there, but then there's no way of getting down there because the floor is there. So it must be under the ice, perhaps? I don't know. Yeah, because it's like under the floor. So let's try and get to the edge of the floor. <laughs> Maybe that'll help us out. Oh, it's extra spooky over here, isn't it? So I think we might need to go under the ice to get to it, maybe? I have no idea. But like... You know, where does this actually end? That's what I don't understand. So it's like, oh, it's supposed to be under us right now, but... Oh, is it like in here? Right, okay, let's get oxygen and then see if we can go into that little cave thing. Maybe it's in there. Who knows, guys? Who knows? <laughs> oh. Ooh, cool looking sky. Nice. So let's just go and then if you can't get there, we can't get there. Hands off my stuff, you. I mean, it's got to be, haven't it? Right? I mean, is it? Or am I just being Warning. stupid? Hmm. I don't know. Increased. I don't think like, it's going to be in you, is it? I mean, this only goes so deep and then it just comes out in a different place. I think you can collect this stuff. Oh, we should grab some of these while we're here. There we go. We may, we may as well. We're here, so it makes sense. Oh, I feel like I'm going to get lost. Yeah, I don't think it's in you, but what do I know? Oh, maybe it is. Who knows, guys? It's like under here, is it? I've got a clue. 
we got here? Like random stuff. See, it's not. It's like there. But under here. If that makes sense. We'll grab a bunch of these though. Ooh. Here. Oh, there it is, look. Oh, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. God damn it. I gotta get out of here now without dying. Ooh. Well, that's cool. Looks like I'm gonna die anyway because I can't find my way out of this stupid thing. And this is why we need a Pathfinder tool. Oh my god, am I gonna make it? Ooh, it's gonna be really close if I make that or not. Oh my god, please, please. Oh, get it. Another death. I am failing at this game. But at least I did find that. So, oop, there we go. <laughs> Another death, guys, but at least I found it. Excuse you. My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket points. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Okay. Well, I died, so we lost all those things that we found on that plant, but we could always go back to them, that'd be fine. But unfortunately I have died, which kinda sucks. Um Water analyzing station. Test for levels of crop bacteria in the water. Experimental application of light, heat, and chemical stuff. Didn't he say he was like uploading something or other to us? Oh, yes, look. So here we go. We've got the architectural body cache thing. Right. We should probably go to this signal first, I feel. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to head there. That is what we are doing. Let's head over here. We'll grab a peeper. Yum. So we're going to head over here. Grab a couple of peepers on the way. On you. Um, I feel like it's quite far away. The only trouble we're going to run into now. Ooh, have I been here? Hmm. I feel like I have. Who knows though? Hmm. Have I been here? Yeah. Let's find out. Possibly. Here we go. Oh, maybe I haven't been here. I've already got that. Or oh, have I? See, now I'm confused. A flare. Well, that's useless to me. Oh, nutrient block. That's more like it. Hmm. Oh, well. I think I have been here, but hey ho. It's worth checking. I've already got that, so it's all good. Jump back into the water. Find the right place where we're going. There we go. All right, let's check this out. And uh, we should probably swim further down as we go so we can see any new biomes possibly coming to form underneath us. Oh my god. That sounded huge. Mm, no. <laughs> we are so not ready or prepared for like, big creatures just yet. I've got to be honest. Ooh, look at all these resources. I've got to get some resources from you guys. It makes sense. Yeah, but uh, two, so far I have actually died twice, which is quite a lot. <laughs> so on that respect, I am failing miserably. And um, yeah, I do tend to die a lot. Like when I first started playing some not, uh, I die constantly. Oh my god, what is that sound underneath my feet right now? I am so terrified. I am leaving. Goodbye. 
Oh, ew, 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 ew. I don't want to know what it is. I just want to get out of here. Oh my god, it's close. Oh, freak now. <gasps> Hell no. Ah, oh my god, it's like ice in the water. Oh my god, there's more. Oh my god, there's loads. Oh my god, panicking. <gasps> oh, oh, ah. Oh my god, it's gonna eat me. I'm so slow. Oh my god, don't eat me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so afraid. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're like breathing like, I don't know, like some type of like underwater fire at me or something. And I am terrified right now. And like, I literally, I just want to go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm like freaking out. I'm going to get some oxygen. I'm going to pretend I've never seen them. Ah! Please don't eat me. There's so many. I'm so afraid. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm literally so scared right now. Oh my god, there's like the black abyss underneath me. Hello, fishy. Oh my god, they're everywhere, guys. They're everywhere. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. <gasps> my feet are like curled up. I'm so scared. Oh my god, there's lily pads. We're in the lily biome. Oh my god, that is so cool, but I'm so scared right now. <gasps> I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. <laughs> I'm such a wimp, guys. I'm terrified. God, I'm so scared. Oh my god, there's a squiddy. There's a there's squiddies. Oh my god, there's loads. How am I gonna get down there without dying? <gasps> Help me. <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm such a wimp. <laughs> I forgot what the other ones are called. Those like dragony looking things. I can't remember what they're called, guys, but I'm so scared right now. I am terrified. I shouldn't even be doing this. I haven't even got the right equipment to be doing this right now. But hey ho, if I die, I die. It's not like I haven't died before in this, right? Like a lot. <laughs> but this is cool. The lily pad biome, guys. I know, I know. I'm stupid. I understand what you're saying. But as usual, the curiosity has gotten the better of me, and I'm just diving down like an idiot. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What am I looking at? Oh my god, this is cool. <sighs> Wow, it's the lily pad biome. I mean, oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, we need to we need a sea track desperately. I have to make a sea track because without it, I'm gonna die. Come on, I cannot possibly die twice in the same episode. That is beyond depressing. Oh, I am. I'm gonna die twice in one episode because you know I'm stupid and I do things without thinking. And, you know, then I die. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the second time that I've died. Well, I suck. I suck. I just suck, guys. All these locations, but we need to make a sea trek, basically. So let's have a little look. What do we need? for a sea trek because ooh maybe the rebreather would be helpful silicone rubber fiber mesh and a wiring kit i think i have that stuff so fiber mesh and silicone rubber and what do i need for a wiring kit let me see here two silver or oh. one well, or tell me I have two silver ore. Yes, I do. Okay, so now we quickly jump back into the pod. Create that stuff. There we go. Did I leave anything here? Yeah, just some flares that will never get used. Okay, so wiring kit. And then I can make a rebreather, which will help my oxygen. Cool. Okay, how do I update my tank? Standard O2 tank. Then how do I make like the upgraded O2 tank? Because you've got the depth module. Or locker, the spy penguin. If you could cook a peeper actually, I might go pop a peeper into my little uh, aquarium. A synthetic fiber, spy plant clipping, I've never heard of that. Hmm. So, I've lost the plot now, guys. I've forgotten what I was doing. Oh my god, I suck. 
eat that quick look. What was I doing? Like, what was I going to make? Alright, I've made my rebreather, which is going to help. And now we need to make stuff for the sea track. So, three lead. I have three lead going on. Let me check to see if I've got three lead, definitely. That's something. Right. Oh, I can pin it. So, three lead. Um, one, two, three. A power cell, which is batteries and silicone rubber. So, let me see here. So silicone rubber, a battery is one of you and two copper ore, I think. And we could always take one of our batteries and use that. So two glass. Do I have glass? Two glass. A titanium ingot, which is ten titanium, which I'm going to need to find because I'm low on titanium. A wiring kit, which I've forgotten how you make. So, two silver ore to make a wiring kit. I'm sure I add more silver ore, one silver ore. Oh, dang it. Ugh, ugh. So, we need more silver ore. We're also going to need. A titanium silver ore and let me see if I have how many batteries I can make I can make a battery let me see no ah need ribbon plants I need ribbon plants so what we could do, see, is use that battery rather than like using the because you don't need that many batteries because you can only use one thing at a time. So unload you, pop you in there. That's one battery then, and then we only have to make one battery, and we've still got enough batteries to go between everything if that makes sense. So we need a ribbon plant, loads of titanium. Ribbon plant, loads of titanium. So we we'll scan you for some titanium. Look, fab. So ribbon plant, titanium, and silver ore also needed. Which I can't remember where I found silver ore in the beginning. <sighs> oh, ooh, that looks so cool. Yeah, I literally can't remember where I found silver ore. I'm going to need a bunch of titanium as well. Ugh. I need silver ore. I've got copper ore. I also need a ribbon plants. i just use this to get some quick titanium. Ooh, I could always use more quartz. I scan you too, though. Oh, I think we can get ribbon plants from in here. And we'll just scan everything. Oh, there's actually a PDA down here. Warning. Oh my god, my oxygen is sex. I thought I had a rebreather on. I mean, isn't it doing anything or what? New I've got a rebreather, so why isn't it working? God, it doesn't seem to be working unless it's like not as efficient as it used to be. I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Oh, give me silver ore. Ugh. Titanium in one of those? That's cheating. I need silver ore desperately, guys. I'm going to have to go on the twisty bridges and I. Ugh. Ugh. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I don't want to, but I know I need to, so I can get some lead when we're here, why not? We may as well just fill the inventory up really, makes sense. Because eventually we're going to need more stuff, because I would love to be able to have a sea truck. And now I'm starting to think that I haven't got a mobile vehicle bay, which would suck because then we can't even make the sea truck, even if we've got the stuff for the sea truck. Oh. 
When did life become so complicated? Yes, I need to find a quick ribbon plant too. I swear, the more we play this game, the, what is that? Creature egg. The more we play this game, the harder it gets to find resources, and that's just me. But I feel like it does get harder to find resources. <laughs> Because apparently, if you do take resources from one area, like, too much, over and over... Ooh, full inventory already, wow. Yeah, if you take resources too much from one area over and over, then um, you actually run the risk of making it so that that particular resource becomes, like, rare in that area for a little while. In, like, the game. I think it's something like that. Anyway, let's see if we can make this titanium ingot thing, which would be helpful. We've already got glass. I've forgotten what I needed for my wiring kit. I don't think I have that yet. I think... Yeah, I need my two silver ore, which I only have one of. And my power cell... I do have... Like, I could just take out one of these batteries, which I might do because, yeah. So, we're just going to do this. And then, <laughs> we can make a power cell. You can always make another battery, it's no big deal. So I literally just need a silver ore. Ooh, the question is though, can I create the mobile vehicle bay, lube cunt and a computer chip? And for a computer chip, I need table coral gold and copper wire. So what we're going to do is pin the computer chip, like that. So table got table coral, gold and copper wire, which I think possibly I have. So table coral, copper wire, and I've got a funny feeling that I don't have gold. Oh, oh no! Seriously, I have to go all back out just to get a chunk of gold on the go. That is so annoying. Oh, do you have copper wire in there? Look. Okay, well, put the quartz away. Put the copper ore away for a sec. So I need silver ore and gold. Which, I don't know. I feel like that's not going to be the easiest thing to find in the world, but we can give it a go. So I think I should head over to the Twisty Bridges area. Basically dive down like a crazy person, deep. <laughs> And then just run back up with a rebreather should be helpful. Mind saying that, I've got the rebreather on for a while. And I don't think it's doing much, if I'm honest. But hey-ho. So now, I've got a billion places I need to go. I need silver ore, which seems to have disappeared off this planet. But yeah, I need gold. So... I need stuff that I haven't got, that I would very much like. Titanium, they're supposed to have like, much more, what's it called, resources. Let's try in here. So we will grab Shamadat, and then dive further down and see a crash fish that I don't care about. Yeah. Oh, we could also grab another couple of these. I think my inventory is a bit full. At the moment, I literally just want to see... Ah, here we go. So, silver ore. Thank you, God. Silver ore. And I don't suppose you've got some gold lying around, have you? Because I need that right now. It's desperately. So, if you would like to part with your hard oh, earned gold, then that would be amazing. Okay, there's no gold down here. Cannot for the life of me remember where you find gold, and it is annoying because I really need gold right now, and I've probably gone past it a bunch of times, and it's very frustrating because I need it. Hello, is there any gold around? Come to me, my precious gold, because I need you desperately. Hello, hello. Oh, we could find, spend a very long time looking for it because you can guarantee what you want is what you can never find. This will grab you. Hmm. Where for all that gold? Oh, 
I won't go so bad right now. But I have no idea where to look for it. Oh dear, 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 dear. Ooh, look at that major storm going on. Ooh. Looks cool though. Okay, twisty bridges, here we come. Because when you go desperately, and the deeper you go, the better resources you get. So, hence by logic, going deep should get us what we get needed, in theory. I hope so, because I can really could do with some gold right now. Plus I'm getting thirsty and that. So that's also frustrating me quite a bit. So we'll pick up some bladder fish when we're here, because there's like billions here. And there's stuff squealing in the background, which is making me nervous. Hello? Hello? Ooh, thunderstorm! Hello, wow, look at that! Cool! It looks awesome! Look at that, that is so cool! Ooh, I love it! I need gold so bad right now. I'm gonna grab a bunch of bladder fishies and other fishies. Right, inventory is full. We're gonna have to head back to Pod. We'll get some food, get something to drink, and um, make that wiring kit. Oh dear, dear, dear. I need. Food, a drink, we got the wire. We can actually make the sea track. Oh, is that an advanced wire? Oh my god, it's an advanced wire. I'm so depressed. So we're going to need another gold for that as well. Oh my lord. I'm so sad right now. So I'm going to need... I've got a lubricant. Oh, I'm devastated. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, we only need that. But we're going to need double computer chip. Ugh. So I need two gold and probably going to need, dang it, so frustrating, so frustrating. So yeah, I'm going to need two gold and that's it actually because I've got the other stuff. Okay, so that's what we know we're going to need. So that's something. I should definitely recharge my battery. So we'll do that. So let me see. I haven't got any empty batteries in here. What we'll do is we're going to take the battery out of here. There we go. We'll pop it in there. And then chuck the resources away. Bring this over that we need. Do that. Okay, because we may as well because we're going to need some inventory space. We've got a lot of food and water on us. Wow, so we're going to munch this and drink a couple of waters. There you go. Now we're feeling better about our lives. Okay, so I need to find two gold. The problem is, I have no idea where to find them. And we're going to need to be able to go deeper to go to these places. So finding gold is the top priority. I'm going to have to steal this battery. Come on, give me gold. I, see, I think, pretty sure that I can find it in the Twisty Bridges. Deep area, like deep area. Now, if we can do that without dying, then we might be sad and we can make some stuff. So, I think it's worth a try. We're going to give it a go. So, maybe we'll even find some gold around here. You never know. It's worth checking. God, it's like freezing its prey to eat it. Got plenty of quartz down here. I just, I don't know where to look for gold. Because I just can't find gold. But I think, I'm pretty sure the Twisty Bridges will have gold here. If you go deep enough, that is. Oxygen. Oh, the oxygen sucks. We so, so need to upgrade this tank. I can't remember how you upgrade a tank, guys. It's bad. 
I really don't remember. It's been too long. And now I can't. Ooh! Lead. I don't need lead, people. I need gold. Do you hear what I am saying? Oh, I can't scan. It's a mobile. But we've got it anyway, so we don't matter that we can't scan it. See, this is what happens when you're really skimsy with all your batteries. You end up with one battery to control everything. <laughs> uh. Oh, dear me, guys. What am I going to do? Ooh. That was, like, really glitchy right there. Freaking out on me. Ooh. It's totally freaking out. Making me nervous. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, next part, we will continue. We're going to look for gold and everything, and we'll go from there. Because I feel like... Otherwise, we're just going to go around in circles. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. <laughs>